I think this whole thing that we're going through as it relates to natural materials and sustainability and also trying to maintain some level of quality and beauty, I think is something that for us, we're constantly striving to achieve. Um, I'm excited to see what happens in the future. When it comes to finishes, they typically cover a lot of surfaces, whether it's uh, flooring, walls or ceilings. And so, yes, of course, it has to be beautiful, but I think there's no excuse for something not being sustainable anymore. So I, I would say sustainability is key. And then, of course, beauty. Um, and when I say beauty, I, I just mean something that sort of create a palette, a toolkit for, for designers. It should, uh, it should be something uh, versatile, durable as well in terms of timing. Uh, something that uh, could be uh, applied to a wall, to a floor, that has that kind of, uh, that kind of uh, flexibility and not uh, overtaking all the other elements that goes inside, uh, inside a property or a house. But it also a factor that I think is very important is the timeless. Somehow the, the product is not only a trend product, it's also a timeless product because this makes sustainable. Uh, a product that you can uh, maintain for long period and then at the end of the cycle upcycling or reconverting in something I think that this is fundamental Linoleum is, is a very old product it has been sustainable since the time before sustainability was fashionable or, or even considered Taking this as a basis for developing a product and making it even more sustainable, making it more of a creative product is very important. And I think more importantly is that t taking a sustainable product and making it more desirable is probably the magic here. What they also did, which I think is, is quite beautiful to this category is, uh, first of all, the coloring, which I think is very sophisticated. And I love the story about how it relates back to the source where it was made. When you think about source, you think source as nature, things like that. And we forget sometimes that source is a factory. And, and the idea of collect, connecting the, the product back to where it's made, driving the colors from, from different aspects of the factory, I think is, is also quite a but an interesting story. I think the color palette are very beautiful. Uh, for me, the, the, the surface uh, material should be something that uh, uh, creates a backdrop for what is inside a, a house, for example. And I think this, uh, the tone of color that they used for this, uh, for this product uh, create a very nice backdrop. Obviously, it's a sustainable material and uh, from, natural, from, from natural material. As well, I think it's uh, versatile, so it can be used for the floor, it can be used for the, for the wall. Um, it's practical, I think it's durable. And I think, seriously, the, the palette of colors and the textures is absolutely timeless. That is exactly what I'm searching for.